Hello and welcome to Kadoink Studios. I am Kadoink and this is game number two in the series between Chaotic and Emil here at the Golden Below Tournament. This is of course round one and so if Emil takes this game he will move on to round number two. However, if Chaotic wins then we will be going on to a game number three. So good luck to both players. We will see who is the victor of this game. The game is of course on Daybreak. We have Immel spawning in the top right of Daybreak as the green Protoss player, and his opponent is Chaotic, the red Protoss player spawning on the bottom left. GSL, Daybreak, absolutely one of my favorite maps. I love this map. I don't think I've lost a Terran vs. Zerg on this map, and I just, I think it's a cool map in general. One thing I wish is that they hadn't used this full mineral patch. I wish they had kept the half mineral patch, as that was something I found to be very, very cool in the GSL version. However, this is the latter version, so we do have the full base here. And yeah, I just think it's a very interesting map. A lot of open spaces, a lot of little holes like this. So a lot of neat little corridors to run through and run by. There's not a lot of huge open spaces, which makes the map very interesting and very different from a lot of the other maps. So I'm excited to see this game on this map. It does look like Immel is going to be going a Forge Fast Expand. This is interesting, in the first game he opted to go 3 gate robo, very, very strong aggressive build, and it seemed to do very effectively, as he did he did win game number 1. And so this time he's going to kind of back up and try to do a more defensive build, going for that fast, forge fast expand, trying to get up some economy, maybe going for a more late game rather than an early game. And so both players are doing the pretty usual thing. It looks like Chaotic will not be going for any kind of expansion build. I suspect he will be going for either another 4-gate or a 3-gate Robo. The 4-gate in the last game he did was almost effective, but wasn't wasn't quite there yet. Uh, as Immel did hold it off really, really well. And so it looks like he will be throwing down a Photon Cannon, and once his minerals hit 400, he will be putting down that Gateway, leaving a Pro behind. Gateway, excuse me, that Nexus so that he can get up his expansion as soon as possible. And yes, it does go down indeed. And so yeah, we will have a very, very strong economic game from Immel. Chaotic on the other hand, um, yeah, still has one gas. I suspect we'll see a four gate. He might try to deviate from it a little bit, go for a stronger attack, but we will see what he opts to do as his minerals is gonna float up a little bit and he's gonna put down at least two more gateways and then whether or not the third is a gateway or a robo, we will see. In the meantime, being very good at keeping his Immel is being very good at keeping his pylons in good placements, making sure everything is powered kind of twice. If we look, this cannon is just barely, barely powered up by this, by this uh, pylon, and then this pylon is of course powering it up as well. So if either one of these gets picked off, the cannon will be able to stay. I just love this by Emil. Nice thinking. I know. It's little things like that that help push you ahead. StarCraft is a game of inches. I've heard that a thousand times from a thousand different people. And it's never been proven wrong. A lot of little things add up to a big thing and it can end up winning a game for you. So it looks like his Nexus is finished. Emil will be trying to saturate this up here fairly shortly. Also getting up some gateways so that he can defend this. Uh, but I would like to see a cybernetics core as he really needs to make sure he gets that gets that warp gate up as soon as he can. And look at this, we do have a robotics facility for Chaotic, excuse me, his name slipped me for just a bit. So we will be going for a three gate robo just like Immel did in game number one. And look at this, he's also putting down a second pylon. He doesn't want to have another Arptosis pylon like he did in game number one. Doesn't want that to get picked off and so they could have no unit producing structures powered up. So I like this, making sure you're active at keeping two or three pylons at each building so that nothing gets powered down. And so I suspect we'll see Immortals coming out of this robotics facility and then he'll try to do some sort of early pressure, some sort of early attack. If we look at Emil, he still does not have a cybernetics core. This is really interesting. Uh, I feel like by this time with a Forge Fast Expand build you'd have a cybernetics core. In fact, you could put it here or here in fact, this would be a very cool position to kind of wall off even further and then just have a few zealots here. And you have a very nice completed wall, but no. Looks like he is going to be putting a cybernetics core up into his main. Also getting another gateway up, so he will have four gateways. And so if it gets done before this attack comes, 
he should be able to hold it off. However, if Chaotic decides to attack earlier, he'll be caught a little bit off guard as he does not have that warp gate technology up. Also putting down another photon cannon. This is probably a wise decision as he does not have that many units. I'd even put down a third. He seems very, 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 very vulnerable to me at this time. Only two cannons and three zealots to this three stalker, one zealot, one immortal push that is about to happen. It's going to be very strong and it's going to do a lot of damage. And Immel is also keeping the watchtower, which is another really great decision. So he knows this attack is coming, so he really needs to make sure he's putting down these cannons as he... I, he should know he can't hold this off, not with reinforcements, not with a probe coming to put down another pylon so they can warp units in closer. So each player will be poking back and forth. Immel will be trying to bait Chaotic into the cannon fire. Can, uh, Chaotic will be trying to bait Immel's zealots just like that so he can pick one off. And then run back, try to get, get his units picked off one at a time. And it looks like he will be moving his probe up, building a pylon probably somewhere around here. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's going to be building it down here. Interesting. Yeah, he will be building it down here. And now he has a much stronger force, a lot more stalkers. Once again, trying to bait those zealots. And will really needs to pull his units back and let the cannons do some damage. Even building a third cannon, but it might just be a little bit too late. Oh, nice force field. He's going to be blocking some of the units. The stalkers do manage to escape, but not before one of the cannons go down. The second one is looking dangerously low. The second one does go down, and now it looks like Chaotic is in a very, very strong position. Did leave this cannon to finish. I don't like that. He probably could have picked it off. But at the same time, it is good to not be too, too greedy. Waiting for some more stalkers to be warped in, and now he will be pushing once again, targeting the cannon. The cannon does go down, and now it is a bunch of stalkers to a very, very small stalker force, and Immel is looking like he's in a lot of trouble. Two more cannons being built, but it looks like they will be canceled. And now Chaotic is just going to go into his base and do as much damage as possible. This Immortal is just crushing everything, tanking a lot of the damage. And yeah, Immel is going to have to pull some probes off. He's going to be running them into the main, but at this point you might as well attack with everything you've got. Because your Forge Fast Expand just got crushed. Looks like these Stalkers are going to do some more damage to more Zealots. The Zealots do go down as well as another Stalker. And now it's just a bunch of probes and a Stalker versus a massive Stalker army. And, yeah, it's looking like this one is in Chaotic's favor, and there's the GG by Emil. Great game, Chaotic, pulling yourself back ahead. Uh, I'm very t excited to see what you do in game number three, as the winner of game number three will move on in round two, and the next one will be dropped. So good luck, Emil. Good luck, Chaotic. Good luck to both of you. I hope the next game is a very good one, a very exciting one, and the winner of that will move on. So anyway, this is Kadoink. I hope you enjoyed this cast. Um... Doing a bunch of them today for this Golden Below tournament. Very excited to see these games. So just comment below. Tell me what you think. Start generating some discussion. I have a Battle.net thread that I would just love for you guys to to discuss on. Just talk about different things. Talk about cast. Talk about StarCraft. And then also go check out the Golden Below thread uh, that Animus posted. It's got a lot of information. It's got all the, all the casts that I'm doing. It's got all the brackets. And all the players as well. And we're talking about the tournament. It's a good time. So yeah, go into those places, start posting, have a lot of fun, 